Bienvenidos únicos y únicas. I'm here with Sefa. Hey. hey! I draw a piano yeah. because we know what what you like. So the game is easy. It's a melody. Yeah. But it's one of your melodies. Yeah. And I draw the first eight notes of the yeah. melody. Every note is a question. Yeah. And then the last question you have to guess. Yeah. The song. Okay. Sure. The first question is this one. When do you start composing music? When I was about nine years old, I was at a at the home of a friend of my mother, and he actually had a giant TV screen with FL Studio on it, and I was like, what is he doing? I want to do it too. So I asked him if I could, you know, get the mouse and, and start making some music. And I really liked it. So for my 10th birthday, I, I got a mini laptop and I just started, yeah, making music from there. And uh, I kept, you know, getting better and better. And then, uh, and then yeah, and, and then, and then this and then happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second question. Second question. What's so special about Frenchcore? I think Frenchcore, because it's faster, it really makes you want to dance, you know? It really gives you a lot of energy, so that's why. Energetic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, continue. When and how did you meet Peacock? <laughs> when I was 11 years old, my mother met him at a bar, actually. They just met each other. Really? Yeah, they live in the same city. He lives in the same city as me. And then my mom, you know, she was uh, doing her thing over there. <laughs> and he, he, w he was pretty drunk, too. So um, they started talking. And then my mother said, yeah, my son makes music. And he was like, no way. And then um, my mom said that I, produced, I was producing Heartstyle at the time. I was 11 years old. Yeah, then my uh, then Steve uh, told my mother like, yeah, I want to I want to check it out, you know, I want to come visit him. Yeah, I was sitting at my laptop, and then suddenly Steve was there in my house. Peacock was there in my house. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what music he made. He was like, hey man, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and then he <laughs> and then he said, uh, what are you making? Let me listen to it. And he was he was kind of impressed, you know. So you start producing hardstyle. Yeah. yeah, I started with making uh, making like hip hop beats and stuff like the regular kind of thing yeah. everybody does. And then I discovered hardstyle when I was ten. And I thought it was really amazing, and I, I started producing that. And then uh, after I met Peacock, he kind of his music kind of convinced me to to make French. What does classical music mean to me? Of course, I always tell people I listen to a lot of classical music. I also really uh, I have a lot of influence of classical music in my tracks. But I actually started listening to classical music like in a serious way only like two or three years ago. It tells you something more about life and about music, you know. So. I was actually looking for more kind of like a musical challenge, and that's how I stumbled upon classical music. Um, I think I already know the melody, but uh, oh. let me check. What makes Sefa unique? Well, yeah, as I already said, I try to um, I try to have a more musical approach to hardcore and Frenchcore than maybe some other producers would have. The most important thing, even more important than the music theory and the kick for me, is the drive in the track. Uh, when I make a track, I always have something in mind that even if you listen to the track on the shittiest quality on your phone and you, you, it's on the table or something, or you're in the shower, you still need to feel the need to dance to it. If it sounds well, it, if it sounds good on your phone, then imagine how it would sound on a, on a big sound system in a club, you know? So that's really something I, I always keep in mind. Favorite track? Right uh, now. Uh, right now. Uh, phew, the last song I listened to on my phone. Yeah, it was uh, a fugue by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Number 578, the fugue in G minor. So everybody watching, be sure to check it out. It's a really difficult piece, but it, I think it's really amazing. Uh, the future. I recently thought about it and I kind of planned out my, 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 my coming year and it's going to be absolutely crazy. First of all, I'm doing a lot of great festivals this year. Um, of course, I'm playing at the DEF CON Red stage. That's something that I'm going, I'm preparing a lot and it's, 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 it's going Exciting. to be yeah. Next to that, I'm, I'm also uh, releasing a lot of new solo music and um, yeah, maybe there's something more coming when it comes to music, but... Uh, <laughs> but it's top secret. <laughs> it's top secret, yeah. Okay, and finishing, you know the song. Yeah. Um. <laughs> nice, you did it. All right, awesome. Yeah. The Hamel, of course, yeah. by me. Right. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, you did cool. great. Nice, <laughs> really nice, really original, really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. And if you want to say something for Spain, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, Spain. This is my second time in Fabrik. First time at the main stage. Really awesome to play here as well, uh, always. And uh, yeah, quien no puede no Yes. Bye bye.